Hello, yeah, my name's uh, Albie. This is Ensign Flag Company. We're an established uh, flag manufacturer from 1949, which makes us uh, one of the oldest flag companies in the country now. Specialised in all sewn flags rather than uh, printed material and that sort of thing. We supply uh, many yacht clubs all over the country, uh, many ships chandlers around the world. We've got a lot of customers in uh, the south of France, Antibes, Cannes, Joan Le Pan. Uh, we also supply many big ships chandlers in Palma Nova, um, Canary Islands. Um, we also do uh, Jersey, New Jersey, sorry, in America, uh, the big ship builders. Here is Les Ring, the original owner, with uh, my late wife, who was his first employee, and that's how me and my daughter got into the company. Prince Charles's flag, which we made for his investiture, and that flew over Car Carnarvon Castle. I think it was a six-yard one. Um, other things where we've been very busy is Jubilee, all Union flags and so on. And uh, we do a mix of things. Uh, Fly the flag for St George's Day. Um, some of the other things we do, we do a lot of military, um, especially local, the Duke of Lancaster's regiments. We do all their flags which have been paraded and flown in Afghanistan and Helmand and around the world. Uh, that's just a part of our history. This is Simon, our artist, draws everything up by hand. As you'll see, we don't uh, use computers. For example, this is um, what is it, Simon? 19... 1940s, uh... 1940s USA flag, which only had 48 stars. This is for um, some programme in America. Uh, there's all the stars being drawn up. Um, when it's drawn up here, it gets traced and we keep um, the, the original copy on brown paper, which is our artwork. Then it goes to the machinists, which I'll show you around here. They come from the artist, uh, they go onto the machines. <coughs> These are um, stripes being put together uh, for the Union flags, red and white stripes, which are all sewn together. In the Union flag, there's 36 stripes to sew together. Uh, that's why it's a lot more detailed than the screen printed items, which most of the other flag companies do. On other ones, um, the designs are appliqued as here. This is the Royal Burnham Yacht Club, uh, the Laurel Reef, that's all sewn around. And as you see, um, this being sewn now, bits are trimmed away. Isle of Man flags, all, uh, it's, we call it applique because the materials are applique one on top of the other. Um, as you see, there's all the pieces in the Union flag, which, uh, as you see earlier, sewn together. They're all sewn together as individual pieces. Uh, then the legs are done in three or four different colours. When they're sewn round here, as you can see, they're sewn. Then they go to the trimmers, which is uh, here. And then we trimmed away, he's just filming that, clear? Yeah. So the design is trimmed away. As you see, it's all done by hand, which is very few people make flags like this now. They're all screen printed. Um, it's a very detailed work. And it's very time consuming. But the end product, as you can see, is far better than a screen printed thing. Um, from there, we go to Lehan here, which is the finishing where all the bits and pieces are trimmed away, bits of cotton. This, for example, is a Marshall Islands flag, which uh, a lot of the super yachts fly because they're registered in the Marshall Islands. This is just the finishing bits. Before we let them go out, it's sort of quality control, all the bits of material off. Um, and then it's, um, it gets parceled up. There's one, for example, which is um, one of the big prestige yacht clubs, that's the Royal Yacht Squadron. That's their Bear G, which they fly on the ships. Um, we also do a lot of applique work for schools, as you can see around there. That's a very detailed one. That's for the local school. And then from there, we get um, everything posted here to all around the world. 
uh, mostly mostly Europe. Um, that's about it, really. Gives you an idea of our business. 